Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is how to set up an audio interface and record audio clips or audio tracks in Ableton Live Lite. First, here's how to set up the audio interface. At the top left of the screen, click on Options. Then at the bottom of the pop-up list, click on Preferences. Click on the Audio tab. If you are using an audio interface, click on the drop-down list box to the right of the words Driver Type and click on ASIO. Then click on the drop-down list box to the right of the words Audio Device and click on the name of your audio interface. If your audio interface is not on the list, you will need to install an ASIO driver for your audio interface. Click on Input Config. Click on the inputs to choose which inputs on your audio interface to use. Inputs highlighted orange are turned on. Inputs that are greyed out are turned off. If you prefer each input listed separately, turn on Mono Inputs. If you prefer inputs listed as stereo pairs, turn on Stereo Inputs. Note that Live Light is limited to a total of 8 inputs. If you prefer to name your inputs, click on the boxes to the right of the input numbers and type in a name. Here I have called input 1 Road NT1 and input 2 AKG C1000S. Click on OK to save and close the input config window. Now click on output config. Click on the outputs to choose which outputs on your audio interface to use and add names if you want. Then click on OK. Click on the drop down list box to the right of the words in out sample rate and click on your preferred sample rate. 44,100 Hz is the standard default, but you might prefer a higher number if you want the best quality, sound and recordings. The latency section shows the sound delay caused by the current setup. Preferably, the overall latency should be below 20 milliseconds. If it is above 50 milliseconds, click on Hardware Setup to show your audio interface setup window. The exact window depends on your audio interface but it should give you the option to change the buffer size. The smaller the buffer size, the lower the latency will be, but setting the buffer size too low will cause problems with the sound. At the top right of the preference window, click on the X icon to close the window. Now, here is how to set up an audio track. On an audio track, under the words Audio From, click on the drop down list and click on EXT In. Now click on the drop down list below EXT In and click on the input you want to use. Under the word Monitor, click on In if you want the input to be sent to your audio interface output. Click on Auto if you want the input to be sent to your audio interface output only when the track is armed and ready to record. And here is how to record an audio clip. At the bottom of the audio track strip, click on the Arm Record button so it is highlighted red. Then click on the first clip slot so it is highlighted in colour. Now click on the Session Record button, 
which is the last button in the group of five buttons that are at the top middle of the screen and to the right of the play, stop and record buttons. Any audio that is sent to the audio interface input that has been selected for this track will now be recorded into the clip slot. Click on the stop button at the top of the screen to stop recording. Click on the play icon at the left side of the clip slot to play the recorded audio clip. Click on the stop button at the top middle of the screen to stop the playback of the audio clip. And finally, here is how to record an audio track. At the top right of the screen, click on the Arrangement View selector icon. At the far right of the audio track, click on the Arm Record button so it is highlighted red. Now, click on the Record button at the top middle of the screen. Any audio that is sent to the audio interface input that has been selected for this track will now be recorded on the audio track. Click on the stop button at the top of the screen to stop recording. Click on the stop button at the top of the screen again to set the song track start position back to the beginning of the song. Click on the play button at the top middle of the screen to play the recorded audio. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.